Hey everyone, I'm here with Janine Fraser at Kids Cottage. Um, we're here today to learn more about Kids Cottage, raise awareness for Kids Cottage, um, and, and educate the people in our, our city about what Kids Cottage does for at-risk kids here in Edmonton, and uh, genuinely um, interested to learn more on how we can help and, and what you guys need to, to help more kids here in Edmonton, because that's the ultimate goal. So Kids Cottage is essentially a shelter for children from birth to up to 10 years of age. There's three of us in Canada and we're one of them. And essentially what we're here for is to ensure that we are looking after, protecting, advocating, giving a safe space for our most vulnerable in our community. And that's infants and children between the ages of zero to 10. And then in the interim, while well, we're sheltering those children, and it's just the children that we shelter, not their families, um, we're allowing children having that space just to be children. We work very strenuously with their caregivers or their families to figure out what is the trauma or the crisis that brought them in and how can we alleviate that for them. That's amazing. How are they finding you and what type of situations are they coming from? here in Edmonton. Primarily, it's the parents that are calling us or caregivers that are calling us through our crisis line. So they recognize that they're in crisis and that their children are at risk. I think that takes an amazing amount of courage. Some children are, and I know it's very difficult for people to imagine, but you know, two-year-olds wandering the street. Yeah. Um, two or three a.m. and police finding them and they know that they can rely on Kids Cottage to shelter those children. Those children have quite a bit of um, trauma, yeah. um, emotional trauma, sometimes physical as well. And it's those children also that we shelter and work with. Yeah, that's amazing. So, jeez. I know, it's difficult for most people to wrap their brains around the fact that in our city, in our community, we do have homeless children on the streets. Yeah. We do have children that go without food for three or four days. So at the breakfast, you guys had a list of like things, you know, if you can't contribute financially here's the thing here's a list of things we need because the reality is you don't have an unlimited budget we you know looked at that list and saw that you needed some flooring and paint in the in the basement of this facility that hasn't been touched in a long time <laughs> so you know when i went back to my team uh team at world um everyone was on board to to volunteer and um so so yeah this weekend we're gonna be putting in new floors and painting all the walls and give it a little refresh for you guys and hopefully it turns out all right. <laughs> oh, you know, we're excited. Yeah. guys take them in basically no matter what um, but you are limited to space with the options here there's 12 beds 12 beds there's 12 beds well we turn away as many as we um, admit unfortunately yeah. and it's just I mean it's heartbreaking for us because this is what we're here for this is the business that we've decided to take on yeah the team is incredibly passionate um, and committed to what they do. So every time we have to turn a child away because we actually don't have bed space, yeah. it feels like a failure. Yeah. Because what we really want to do is help as many children as possible. So by raising awareness of what Kids Cottage is and educating Edmontonians on what Kids Cottage is and um, where people can support Kids Cottage and uh, you know 
um, financially or in different ways that can possibly lead to getting more beds for Kids Cottage to help more children that don't have a safe place to sleep, eat, and be warm. Yeah, ultimately that's the end goal, yeah. right? Is that we don't ever have to turn a child away. So I received phone calls from, um, they're adults now, but they were children staying with us. Yeah. And they are phoning to let us know that they made it and they're okay. That's amazing.